guys when i tell you this fucking bike was well and truly empty i fucking mean it this bitch empty and I can't even fucking start my own bike <laughs> yeah so wearing leather today probably wasn't the best idea but got this fucking Dainese jacket a little bit ago and uh it's been non-stop raining weather's fine in the rain but I just don't want to deal with it at the moment, you know. Fucking just want a nice kind of casual cruise. I don't want to be sweating, so I've got a dry rider, dry rider jacket that's really nice. But um, I wear that daily to work. So when I go on a cruise, I kind of want to wear something a little bit nicer. Yeah, we're popping out to one of my favorite spots to ride. It's uh, it's my day off, first day off in a couple of uh, couple of days, and uh, been just fucking inside, just playing like Grand Theft Auto fucking five and a whole bunch of old games I haven't played with fucking my mate Carl and my bud Josh. Shout out to you guys, keep me fucking entertained in this boring fucking year. Keeping shit going, man. Or at least we're trying. Not really much you can do at the moment. Just take it one day at a fucking time. Work, sleep, eat, repeat. But yeah, I've got some um, some footage I haven't uploaded yet from uh, John took me to Cool and Gatta. We did the uh, the two hour trek, so I'll be uploading that in the next couple days for you guys. Um, just wanted to test out the GoPro. At the time, I didn't have the lapel mic, so I'll be doing a helmet setup as well. Because a lot of you guys, I know I had a lot of trouble trying to fucking get a microphone that would work with the GoPro 9. Because um, the Media 3.5 jack doesn't actually fucking work, which is hella frustrating. Because anybody with a GoPro 7 or 8, they would have been using that 3.5 jack which is probably i think it was like 65 to like 80 fucking dollars and you know you've got all the batteries and accessories and stuff and you jump in you're like oh well i can't i can't use that now so i do some research so like oh yeah patch is coming oh when when is it coming we don't know don't know so i was like well how can i do this so i jumped on the gopro forums and they're like yeah you need to grab this media mod and a fucking <laughs> and a TRS to TRSS mod uh, fucking adapter and I was like are you fucking kidding me so bought the wrong adapter got the right adapter got the medium mod tried it out couldn't get it working had to change all my fucking settings on the GoPro first world problems real first world problems yeah it wasn't it wasn't too bad it was just kind of frustrating trying to get it all down and you know, a general lack of information on a new product, like uh, one of the superstores, JB, he, uh, they don't have any really GoPro accessories at the moment, you know, they've got the standard ones that are universal for GoPro, but they don't have extra batteries, charging ports, nothing. This year has been crazy for that sort of thing, so I don't blame them, but hooey, we, uh, we got royally fucked over. But yeah, now it's, now it's working, so... I'm not too fast at the moment. But yeah, welcome to the channel. This is Ironclad Moto. Uh, relatively new. I uh, I had car vlogs. I've had gaming fucking channels. I've had a whole bunch of stupid shit. But I wanted a bike for so long now. And now that I finally got it, I was like, well, it's probably fucking time to get this shit going. Because I watch nothing but fucking motorcycle content most of the time. Watch fucking gaming, watch a bit of guitar shit, vocal shit, and then motor motorcycle stuff. So I was like, well, if I'm already doing all the other stuff, why the fuck wouldn't I do motorcycle vlogging as well, you know? Keep it fun, keep it casual.
around the corner up here and um, I used to like when I was coming home from school I'd have to walk this fucking bullshit it'd be a 10k walk home because dad didn't finish work until like 5.30 in the afternoon you know and you finish at like 3 so you had two options you sit on the side of the road or you, you walk home say so most of the time I tried to walk home but by the time you get home you're fucked and you just get so fucking tired bro it's nasty you're fucking nasty yeah anybody wondering this is like the the colo kind of area just at the back end of Chihuahua and Carolee if you go about 5k over that way you've got um you've got colleges crossing and shit good areas man it's just like um super relaxed super chill um I really like coming here for the cruise like I when I, when I got my license for the first time like my learners and shit I'd come out here and learn how to drive and then uh, when I got my P plates, you know, you're having a bad fucking day, you'd come out here as well. Looks like the boys are swimming. technical or anything but they're just kind of windy and nice you don't have to you know fucking scrape your pegs the whole time like we go to Mount Cooter and stuff and you know that's a lot of fun but um, it's a bit hectic a bit you know you fucking get into it you can lean into it and it's like oh shit you know I'm not one to you know scrape pegs or anything you know from my own pollution I try to avoid it if I can that's why that's one of the reasons why I got a cruiser but I don't like I'm not a hundred percent sold on the bigger engines it's the same it's the same thing I drive a four-cylinder fucking Lanta um, you know we all want the skyline but you know it comes with detriment to other things like you know fucking fuel economy and noise and all that other shit so I got a bike that was fuel efficient quiet cheap to run zero maintenance like you know clean the chain oil doesn't leak out of it it's got a fucking kawasaki ninja engine in it or you know he's also the guys on the kawasaki forum and they say fuck off it's not a it's not a ninja 650 engine but whatever man it's been tailored to fucking ride so that's all i care about genuinely it, it just it really fucking doesn't matter as long as we're on two wheels and we're just fucking riding that's all that matters man, that's all I care about. Yeah, this is by far my favorite stretch of road. You can fucking, you know, you can really dig into it if you want, but like I, I don't even ride with two hands most of the time unless it's a, a little bit more of a corner because it's just so comfortable riding out here. The roads they're not phenomenal but you go out to like the Brisbane Lockheed Valley Highway and you're like made in America it just uh it gets a bit nasty so coming out here where the the roads are so smooth you get a lot of fucking vegetation and shit it's just fucking nice man get out for the day we like going to the beach as well for the same reason you get the highway for a while and then boom you're in fucking in the water you park your bike up start swimming for a bit you come back and you ride all the way home it just there's a reason you don't see motorcycles outside a fucking therapist office mate because this is this is a therapy not a detriment to therapy but road therapy is a whole different thing especially on these bikes there's something about them man even when it's like you know gets your blood boiling for a while after a while you start to kind of get a bit too relaxed on the bike even then man it's just a total fucking sense of bliss so you can kind of get into it not too much though i'm not one for fucking scraping pegs and dragging knees or at least not on this bike 
I've only scraped the pegs once and it was going around a roundabout and I fucking, not gonna lie, I shit my pants. I've only been riding for th like three months. I did the uh, the learner test, passed it on the you know the first two days. They teach you how to do stuff. It's fucking idiot proof. You can't fail that test. And then you get you know come back in a couple of months. I think it's like three months. So I did it in June. Come back in November. Redid the test with zero experience. I basically just jumped back on the bike because I've been riding like bicycles my whole life, so I was comfortable on two wheels. And then the idea of a clutch just made sense to me, the shifting. So I just went back with no experience. They were asking me how much I rode. I just told them I fucking rode dirt bikes for a while, and they're like, "Yeah, that's that's fucking fine." Coming in with no experience, so you know they teach you all the stuff. You you listen. They teach you the right stuff. You don't fucking crash good to go but when they fucking they were taking us out on the road I'm not gonna lie that moment where they're like all right it's time to go you guys have passed everybody had been kicked out I think we started with 12 we ended with three and I'm not gonna lie by the time we were actually getting on the road I was fucking shitting my pants I just had that sense of dread where it's just like I should not have fucking been here to be doing this but I didn't have a bike and I didn't fucking have anybody that could I had people that could teach me but they didn't have a spare bike so you know or if they did it was fucking like a ten thousand dollar bike and I don't know about you I'm not about that yeah I fucking jumped on it shit myself for a little bit and then as soon as I hit 60 on this little CBR 125 something just clicked in me and I was like man this is kind of what I've been missing you know and now because I use my bike as a commuter it's kind of become a little more casual you know like it's just sort of like yeah whatever but man I fucking love riding bikes now when I drive my fucking car it's kind of just feels a bit a little more laxed I guess like it's always been relaxing but now it's just there's nothing quite like getting on your bike Changing my fucking life, man. If you haven't gone for your motorcycle license, it's cheap. I just filled up my tank. It only cost me fucking ten dollars from empty. I don't know any other fucking thing in the world where you can put five to ten dollars into your fucking thing and you're good to go. You know, you can ride all fucking day wherever you like. And it, it don't matter whatsoever. What's going on, mate? Mmm, fuck yeah. <laughs> fucking rubber here, gun. People have been doing skids. Yeah, hella skids, mate. I don't blame them. They probably flog it down this main road and rip the handbrake at that last second. It's gonna go up that road back there because I'm a big fan of it but uh, it's completely dirt so getting to the dam up there it's just not gonna happen <laughs> I mean on this bike probably it's light enough I could probably get up there but why risk it oh man I'm just happy cruising Yeah, next couple weeks we got um, gonna be sending out the video for the helmet setup, which is really probably just the most bare bones, bare bones helmet setup you can possibly get. I'm I'm not a big fan of you know fucking bullshit. I see all the moto vloggers out, and they've got you know the big swing arm to the side and the adapter, and they're fucking putting on uh, recorders on the side of it and shit. I just I just want to plug in and fucking go to town, you know. I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with fucking plugs and adapters and all that shit as much as I can prevent it. So right now I've just got the GoPro, GoPro media mod and the fucking adapter and I found this little weird claw kind of mount. And that's been it. I just wanna put it on the helmet and go. You can't overstress it man, you just need quality and fucking versatility bro, you know? 
Fucking bug just hit me coming. Oof! Oof! Jesus Christ, what you doing, mate? Kicking up all that fucking dust. I've forgotten where this ends up anyway. I think it's on like the main road to fucking. Like, you take the hills to Mogul, I think, when you turn left at the at the dam. You know what? We're going to the other dam. If we can find it. Head up the mountain trails for a bit. That'll be nice. I was going to record it at the time, but John John took me up to Mount Glorious, and we actually had a pretty fucking nice ride. He took us up to the cafe up there. If any of you are from like southeast Queensland, you know about the fucking Mount Glorious ride. It's pretty much the main ride that people talk about besides Mount Kutha. You know, you go up the mountain, go to the cafe. That's all that John said. We're going to the fucking top of the mountain, cafe. That's it. There's no bullshit with that man. Fucking grandma! No fucking bullshit. Man wears a fucking open face helmet and a jacket. You gotta thank those guys that got you in the bikes though, so. You gotta thank uh, fucking John. He was probably the primary guy. He was like the first guy that showed me back when we were working together. Jared fucking Jimmy. <laughs> fucking good old Josh. And uh, recently Alex, my brother that I used to work with. Yeah, uh, they're keeping me going on the bike, keeping it fun. We got to get out on some cruises, so big group cruises. We just, uh, this year has been so fucking weird. We just haven't had a chance to get out and do anything with work schedules. Oh man, just ridiculous. Poor Alex fucking got his bike stolen a bit ago. Guys just rocked up to his house. We didn't even know how they took it. It was fucking behind some cars and shit. He ended up finding it a couple, probably a week later, I reckon. The ignition barrel was all fucked. But uh, he has a MT-07 and he's uh, he's decked that thing out. I'll check a photo like here. He's uh, he's really put in some work on that thing. He's uh, he's got a Instagram page as well. I'll put that here. Him and his buddy. They uh, they both ride these fucking custom MT-07s. And I was looking at the MT-07. Um, but I didn't need that kind of fuckery, you know, because I can be a bit of a twat on the bike sometimes. Not like being a joke to other people, but I can put my fucking... I'll twist the throttle a bit too hard sometimes, speaking of which. I don't go too hard, but like when I do, it's not, it's not a good idea. So being on a, a ridiculously fast sports bike like that, I just, I feel like I'd just be a fucking knob about it. Yeah, I got this new Dynasty jacket. Surprisingly quite good in this weather. It's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not breathing that well. But, um, that's what you get with leather, man. Like, it's got this, uh, fabric on the sides, which is letting in a bit of air. And I've got these vents on the back. But, uh, I'd rather save a bit of skin than, you know, sweat a little bit, you know. So, I'm all for it. I can, you know, I'll suck it up. Plus it was raining most of today anyway, now the sun's come out and everything's all dried up, so... Whatever, man. Again, let me, uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Just give us a comment. I, I don't care what kind of content. If you want to see some cruises, you want to see some group rides, moto camping, fucking even just eating fucking food cunt. Yeah, I'm going to Mickey D's. You guys want a fucking triple cheese bring a mic? Let's get on it, bro. Let me know. We'll get on some shit, you know? I'll be filming here and there. I got some content coming. I just haven't edited it. Got like probably two and a half hours worth of footage that I just need to like compress down into a nice little neat video for you guys. Yeah. 
Here we go, coming out of the Mount Crosby Way. Could head that way and go to Mogul, but I'm just going to head back. I'm just gonna. I might. I was gonna go the the main way, but I reckon we just turn around here. Keep it nice and casual, yeah. Yeah, we're getting like weird temperatures at the moment. You know, it'll be raining, and it's still 32 degrees. You know. It isn't horrible, but uh, it's like 95% humidity. And I've got a couple of uh, American mates watching. Best way I can describe it, guys, is like Florida, you know? You can ride all year round, even in the fucking winter, because it doesn't snow. You just kind of, just kind of get over it, you know? Emergency sign. Emergency sign for what? Doesn't fucking specify. <laughs> yeah, you guys, we'll have a black review soon. Um, I love this bike. Like, just to, like, just to get uh, it out there. This bike is fucking insane. I know you boys hate the mirrors. I like them. I can see fucking everything in this thing. I don't know if you can see right there. But uh, I can see everything behind me and it's not shaky, it's nice and clean, clear view, even when it rains it's nice man. I'm not fussy like that, you know, I don't want to, if it was another bike I'd probably put a nice little mirror down here instead and same on the other side. I don't really need that though man. I like this bike, I like the lines. It's nice and clean. Bike runs like a dream. The only complaint I've ever had about this bike since I got it, it's just the exhaust, man. It's just quiet. Like, I'm riding with John on the his V-Star. And you'll see it in the footage of Cool and Gattacan. You can't hear my bike. Like, we take off. And, you know, you get your Harleys that make a lot of noise. <laughs> Made in America. You hear John's bike, you're like, fuck, that's just a clean bike, con. Those V-Stars, they sound so fucking... Ballsy, they got so much bass to their throne. Where mine sounds like a nice little, mine sounds like a nice quiet lawnmower with angry hornets in it. And you know what? I don't have a problem with that because I don't want it to be nice and loud and fucking tearing shit up. I'm fine with a nice, quiet, cruisy bike. I don't have to wear earplugs when I ride, keep it nice and comfortable. I can hear my music, but I can still hear the exhaust when I give it to it, you know? Like if I, if I drop it back. I don't know if that'll pick up in the mic, but it's got a nice throaty tone to it. I'm happy. Yeah, we'll be doing some group cruises. I might even go on a cruise today with some of the boys if they're, um, you know, if they're out and about. I don't mind. It's been a while since I've actually gotten out with anybody and done a cruise. know as well this is like a completely solitude uh, what is it called fucking it's just like an area where not a lot of people use you know it's up in the mountain there's very little residential area you know homes around the place he says as he goes around the corner and there's a house Pet retreat? When the fuck did that rock up? That's never been there before. 
All right, I'm down. Oh, bet. Oh, there it is. Hey, I don't remember that being there, to be honest. We get a bit cocky, you know, we overcook it, you know, your mates have got bigger bikes, so you fucking you get into it. Like, I know I'm not going to compete with an MT-07, you know, I'm just not, I know those guys are going to flog the shit out of me, that's why I don't race with them. I could probably give them a good run, but I know that I'm not coming out of that on a good end, you know. Just fucking ride to your limits, man. Hella crusty. Is that a rug? Dude, that pillow was looking nasty. What the fuck is going on with all this bullshit? Someone's dumping shit. Okay, a chair. I don't know what they. I don't want to know. I saw some brown tissue hanging out of that. Wait, what the fuck was that? Can I go have a look? Little fucking piggy. It's gonna be like the most awkward turnaround ever. Yeah, we got time. Ugh. Nice and smooth, boys. Nice and smooth riding, you fucking nads. Like the worst place to fucking turn around to but oh well keep your fucking eyes open boys so yeah i'll be um i've had a couple of people talk about my gear especially my boots and um i'll be i'll be posting a video on that you guys have been requesting it like crazy so I make it sound like i've actually got people following but it's just mates you know Yeah, I don't even know if Ironclad Moto will be the, the name of it because I've got so many fucking names for the different channels. And I got Cinder Online for one, that's my Instagram handle as well. And that's from um, the album from Feared by All England and uh, it means Sins. That's why it's spelled weird S Y N D E R. But uh, then I got Ironclad Moto. I had, I had a gaming channel. It's a, fucking horrible mess of a thing from when I was younger and for some reason had an American accent called Definitive Odyssey and that was just a bunch of stupid shit did like daily vlogs, did the gaming did all that shit and now I'm doing murder vlogs fucking stupid man but I like filming and uh, I can talk a lot and I feel fucking annoying all the time for doing it, but I can't stop doing it. 